What's going on guys? I have a Bestial Horus Resonator deck profile for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna start off by going into the main deck. So standard stuff here. Um, we're gonna have the Bestial package. So three Lubelion. We're gonna have two Serenir. I'm sorry, three Serenir. Three Serenir, you know, these, these are what gets the play started with your Bestial package. Um, and then the one of the Druid's Worm and the Magnumut. This usually just ends up being a free sin, and this one helps get the play started also. Um, and it ends up, you know, all of these end up being targets for your Synchros. And then for the Spells and Trap, um, the Branded Regain and the Branded Beast. I mean, just more advantage, uh, free destruction. It's just, it, it loops. If they have no way to get rid of this, this buys you time in a grind game and there's just there's no <clears throat> there's no stopping you really i mean if they they keep that going you know they may grind it out for a little while but they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to just wipe you that easy um for the horus package um this is one i'm like a little torn on like sometimes you almost want all of them because sometimes you can depend on the horror stuff um, but you just you can't play a big horse package um, or you're not playing you're not really playing Dragon Link anymore so we have three M. Seti two King Sark you know he this is the whole play here you know send off get this open it up send one more card get this and then you can go into some extra deck stuff um, pretty standard stuff with that so now we'll go into the standard dragon link stuff um, this right here your black metal package uh, the black metal package is just literally for striker dragon it's just literally only for striker dragon and to be honest with you in this deck you uh, <clears throat> I don't know you I don't know about cutting it but I don't know. It, it just seems to not come up as much as some of the other stuff. Um, the Chaos Package. You know, sometimes this card comes up and you can um, destroy up to two cards on the field. Um, you know, all the all the different effects. Uh, shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand in a deck. Sometimes this stuff comes up. Um, sometimes it don't. And then you have the Graveyard Effect of Chaos Space. Um, <clears throat> You know, it's not um, it's not that great. You know, I'm almost I almost am considering cutting this, but when it comes up, it's great. Plus, he's a big body. You know, if he's a, like a last resort, he's pretty good for that. So, one Seifert, um, just simply for the graveyard effect, and you know, he's a level four, and then he can do the thing where he get something else out of the deck i mean it's it's good again it's one that it don't really always come up but when it works it works good um the ringworm um simple you know you basically get a, a tuner twice so you kind of got to play that um this i'm thinking about if i cut anything else i'm thinking about bumping this back up to three um the crimson package um, you'll see in the extra extra deck in a minute why. Uh, but yeah, Vision Resonator. Um, there's times when you can special summon this card. Um, if there's a level five or higher Dark Monster on the field, you can special it. Um, use it as Synchro material, then grab the Crimson Gaia, and then you can normal summon it. So basically, it's a, a tuner twice. Um, and Crimson Gaia does a lot of cool stuff. If you have a Red Dragon Archfiend on the field. Um, you can change all much of your opponent controls face down defense position and you know why that's good so now for the spells um, one called by you want to see your plays go through but you don't want to commit too much like uh, you know you don't want to commit too many cards like a uh, cross out or something like that you don't want to do that um, three talents I'm just kind of experimenting with this one right now uh, to be honest with you this one is good when it's good otherwise it's a brick in hand but 
this card does a, I mean this deck does a lot of discarding with the horror stuff so worst case you can discard it but the thing is with this deck if you don't get ashed you don't get veilard then you're pretty much set anyway without this but chances are they're going to veil you they're going to imperm you they're going to activate some bestial they're going to do something so um yeah typically you know especially if you get this and this you know you go plus two and you still get to do your play that's pretty good now for the hand traps um we're gonna do three imperm you probably already know all these they're three valor and then three ash you just you have to play ash um if you don't play ash right now you just you're messing yourself up but the key is knowing when to ash when to valor <clears throat> and when to uh, imperm so so yeah that's our main deck um in a nutshell um i've been play testing with it and it's really good i mean it's good in the grind um it can otk it can um do some crazy stuff in the extra deck um but anyways i'm going to show you some combos after this let me go through the extra deck and then we'll shuffle this thing up and show y'all something okay for our links we're gonna go with striker dragon that's just simply to make seals make seals pass you know this is all there is to it and, and to be honest with you that's not that strong of a play anymore um, it's really not if you're not playing full-blown dragon link I don't think it's that strong he to the fire charmer a lot of people are playing dark but if you play dark you're limited to darks um, and I know you're saying oh well, this one you're limited to fire which is even worse everybody's playing ash and the only time you would typically make this is if you're struggling for card advantage and you're needing to make a SP a ban or something so that means most likely they have asked you or something like that plus you have rescue ace rolling around you have people using uh, lava golem stuff like that uh, seals is just been around forever and if you play dragon link you just had to play it so um, <clears throat> but ironically it's it's really not that good I mean to be honest with you it's really not but when it works it's great but typically people are going to negate it so whatever IP I don't think I've ever made this during play testing uh, not one time because typically you're going for the seals and by then you're not going to have time you're not going to have a way to make IP masquerade um, <clears throat> you just have to make a concerted decision you know concerted effort to really make her to go for this play um i don't know it's it's just i don't know i may cut this just to be honest with you i may cut ip as soon as i do i'll need it um sp little knight self-explanatory um it's very easy to make in this deck so you might as well use it um now for our synchros barone Barone is just great. This card's probably gonna get banned. It's too easy to make. It's too good. You have a negate and a destroy. The turn you summon it. It's it's unreal. Bestial Dispader. It's just so good. Also, um, it's not as easy to make, so I don't think it'll ever get banned. But it's just really good in this deck. Um, and there's some really cool things you can do. I'll I'll show you later on in the combo guide. Um, Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. <clears throat> well just for time this is a time card uh, game three you know uh, sometimes you need to do that red dragon arch fiend it's easy to make in this deck it's awesome um, especially if you got crimson guy on the field and you want to go for a game this is it um, scar dragon arch fiend uh, this one does some cool stuff if you use it for a dark dragon synchro monster you can destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls um, and then it's basically a reborn in the graveyard. Um, <clears throat> it's it's just crazy. Um, Bore load. So I did the Bore load Savage Dragon over the Chaos Angel, and I'm just kind of testing that out, just because it's easy to make. But typically, typically you're gonna set up the. If it's turn one, you might set this up over the Red Dragons, but the Red Dragon Archfiends are still so good. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not the best. 
it's not the worst um but it's there you know if you run out of resources and then this is all you have it's better than nothing um so now for the rank eights hope harbinger you know if you're worried about evenly or worried about lightning storm something um there you go um number 90 monster negates mm, just monster negates so you can play around nib this way um there's a lot of things you can do with that. The zombie vampire. This is like if you're just gambling. I mean, you, you got to be pretty desperate to make this, or you got to be pretty confident that you've got the game. That's that's when you get cute with a zombie vampire. Um, or if you know that there's something probably really good in their deck that you can really use, then you can go for that. And the Zeus, another one I haven't made it once during playtesting, I don't think. Um, <clears throat> just because usually when I'm going into one of these, I need them. You know what I'm saying? I need them the next turn. Um, and if I'm going for a game, typically I'm going to go for a game in a different manner. But, um, but yeah, uh, I mean, it's there. Zeus, it's great. When it's great, it's great. Uh, oh, and another thing, this deck does have the ability to make a four material Zeus with this you know if that's really what you know is going to work then you can go for this uh, so because this sins Zeus sins you know it don't destroy so it, it can get around a lot of stuff all right let's get into some test hands let me shuffle it up a couple more times but look um keep in mind there's so many variables and things like that so you know if you know what your opponent's playing you may go a different route and keep in mind just because you would do something that don't mean it's the right way and just because i do something don't mean it's the right way so here's what our hand looks like to begin here um this is a pretty tough hand but in this particular case i would activate the chaos space and i would send that that way you can get the effect of that so chaos space chaos space vision resonator to add the all right so Here's our grave now. Um, we are going to get out the levy. Levy in here. Can't be normal summon set. Keep that in mind. Um, so you really can't grab anything else. Um, activate the vision res to get the crimson Gaia. Crimson Guy, we just went plus two off of one card. So our hand's back at five cards. And we actually have a little bit of advantage now. Um, in this particular case, um, you can activate the Crimson Guy and just bait it. Um, if you're going first, there's not going to really be anything. So we're going to add the uh, Vision Res from hand. I mean from deck. Vision res from deck. Uh, let's see. So this is a pretty good start here. I mean, this is a really good hand. So we are going to have a total of five cards in hand again. Magnemut. Get rid of that viz in the de in the uh, graveyard. Activate effect at the end of the turn. Uh, we will add one to hand. So that's fine. So we control level six, we can special this, we can normal the ringworm. <clears throat> All right, and here, you have the option, um, I would probably, since you have your crimson stuff, you could go all crimson, but that's the weaker play. I would probably go barren, because you can just bring back the magnumut, so, um, I would go Baron. Baron. And you would have a token here. <clears throat> you could summon the token of the Ringworm. And you still don't have enough engrave for the Levy, but you'd have an Imperm you could set face down. 
you have a levy sitting on ready and um, you can pass turn here and in their standby you bring back the magnum mutt you would add I would probably add a Druus worm to hand because <clears throat> you're more on the defensive right now you know if you're set if you're good that's fine I would add the Druus worm to hand so this is your hand now <clears throat> depending what they have and what you have um, I'd probably wait to see what they have and then bring out the Druus worm you got a bear in the gate you have this and this and let's just say the next turn comes around and they couldn't get past the Baron or any of this um, let's just say they took a Druus worm off and you sent one okay that's fine um, now we will go into Crimson Guy effect to bring this back special it because you have that on the field and here's where things get a little cool and you have some options here um typically you're gonna go into the scar dragon arch fiend so i would go i would go ahead and use this token get rid of that um <clears throat> let's just say you had to use that too typically you're going to, have to use a lot of interruption so now you have this you have a scarred red dragon arch fiend so let me show you something really cool that you can do here you can go into dispater here go into dispater <clears throat> now I want you to read this so if this monster is used for a secret summon um, as a sink well okay this if this card was sent to the graveyard as synchro material for a dark dragon synchro monster, you can destroy all attack position monsters your opponent controls. So it would be situational. But worst case, you'll use the effect <clears throat> of him and you will bring out a red dragon archfiend. And you have Crimson Gaia on the field. So Oh my gosh, everything's falling. All right. So yeah, this is a pretty crazy board right now. And now you can target one of your banished dark monsters. <clears throat> so let's look at our grave now. Um, yeah, let's uh, get a levy. <laughs> let's get a levy, you know, depending on what you need. Um, if you don't need to banish the uh, the vision resonator you don't have to so we could just banish um if you need to destroy cards with chaos <coughs> you can do that if you don't uh it, it just depends what you want to do um we'll just assume they have two trouble monsters so we'll get rid of this um <coughs> Destroy two of their monsters. Special summon this. Um, anyways. So now, now this is what you're looking at. Um, <clears throat> you just went full board. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy. Sorry, I was just, I was verifying. This one has like three effects. I can't never remember every single one of them. Um, I delete, I'm deleting this, the Borload Savage Dragon, uh, just because a lot of times, especially like right now, you can't really make it, and it's just kind of a weird one. Um, in this particular case, you have a, a Zeus line you can go down, you have, um, you can go down the SP route, uh, you can just do so much, um, uh, <clears throat> You don't have another level 10 synchro, but, uh, you know, you, you could probably in this case, this is where one of the times where I would really want to have like a good level three, uh, link monster in this deck, just because you could get rid of this, this, and the Baron, if you wanted to, or the Dispater, since you've done 
I don't know. There, there's a lot of things you could do here, but this is enough to kill. This is enough to kill typically. So I, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's GG's right there. I mean that's GG's. Um. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That was really about the best route it could go. Um. I don't really know of any other way I could have did it to get to that faster or um. I mean I, I don't know. I don't really know of a, I don't know of any cards in this deck that would help that maybe get there faster. More gas. You don't want to run the rocket stuff, I don't think, because I mean then you might as well just play full plow, full power, Dragon Link, you know, without the horror stuff. Um, it's hard to say, it really is, but at the end of the day, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good deck, and it's fun, so. Um, hey, you know, whatever. Try it out. See how you like it.